Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We have 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball 12-box hobby edition. Random team break number two, full. So big thanks to these folks right here. Filled up the break. Appreciate it. There are the combo teams right there. Rangers and Blue Jays are comboed. Rockies and Mariners are comboed. Um, we also took out the Padres, Royals, and Tigers. And um, we'll have one person get randomized those teams at the very end in case any of those cards pop out. But we took them out because I don't think they have any hits at all. So at the very end of the break, we'll do a randomizer where the person on top will get the Dog Days of Summer promo spot. The second name will get those extra teams. All right, so let's do the randomizer for these teams first. Let's randomize each list. Six and a one, seven times. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one, seven times. After seven times, we've got Adam Kupperman down to Daniel Patera. Once again, six and a one, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. Angels on top. Marlins on the bottom. Maybe it's uh maybe maybe Adam needs to buy a lottery ticket. Well, we'll see what happens in this break, but. There's Adam with the Angels. Nice. Amber, last spot mojo. She gets the Phillies. Stavros, Rangers, Blue Jays combo. Andrew K. White Sox. Adam Kupperman, Rays. Andrew Harvey, Mets and Braves. Rich with the Brew Crew. Nicholas Leslie with the Twins. Anderson with the Rockies, Mariners combo. David Kist with the A's. Cody Curtis with the Cardinals. TJ, you got the O's. Isaac with the Astros. Anderson O with the Nationals. Rick T with the Reds, Patrick K with the Yankees, nice, Justin with the Giants, Oppo Joe Mojo, Adam with the Indians, Cubs for Mario, Stephen K with the D-backs, Allen with the Red Sox, Nicholas Leslie with the Pirates, Connor, you got my Dodgers, and Daniel with the Marlins. Trades are allowed, Andrew K wants to trade the White Sox. Yeah, I was like, TJ got the Orioles, that's a team that he often picks. In a pick your team break. We do have a pick your team in the store right now, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com Jumbo Edition. Eight boxes, five autos per box. This is a hobby edition. Twelve boxes, two autos per box. And this will be right here, the teams that we give away. So, so I'll randomize that list with a separate dice roll at the end. Uh, once again, Dog Day is a summer spot. And then someone will get the extra teams right here. Any trades? Phillies for Nationals, maybe? Amber's a Nationals fan, Anderson. Isaac, any offers for the Astros? Anyone looking for the Astros? Maybe White Sox, Astros? D-backs for Astros, maybe? All right, looks like looks like no trades. All right, let's close up that trade window. Let's print out this list. So this break will take about an hour. So right there in the chat, you'll have an idea of, uh, so the next break will probably be ready to go at around 6.30 Pacific. Obviously, if we fill up something right after or during this break, we can jump right into the next one after this. All right, there it is. 8, 9, 18 on a Thursday, 12 box hobby, random team two, the official printout. 
Thanks everyone for getting into it. Appreciate it. Here is the 12 boxes here. Let's pop this open. Once again, we have more, um, we have jumbo cases and we got more of this. So the, we'll see another random team break posted on jazbeeshobbyland.com and you'll see an eight box jumbo pick your team available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's get those going as well. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Looking for that guy, among other guys. Two autographs per box. On a Thursday, folks, my picks of the Thursday today, Nationals minus 130, they won. Brewers minus 164, I had them until the Brewers and Corey Knebel decided to uh, walk three dudes in a row in the top of the ninth. And then Joachim Soria gave up a grand slam to Hunter Renfro. That made it 6-4. And then they tacked on a couple, Padres tacked on a couple more runs. The Brewers went quietly into the night. Final score, 8-4 Padres. I was watching the game on MLB Network earlier today. Uh, the Brewers' win expectancy going into the ninth was 92%, according to Fangraphs.com. I think after the Grand Slam, it plummeted to 4.1%. <laughs> I haven't seen something like that in a while. My other pick of the day is the Blue Jays at plus 145. They've got a two-run lead on the Red Sox in the bottom of the fourth in Toronto. So I don't know why they... I, I'm not sure if Corey Knebel was the guy to put into that spot. I think after walk two, would have maybe got the other guys... Go I don't know, but by then it's too late, I guess. Can't get those guys warmed up very quickly. Uh, I'm not sure where Josh Hader was. What was he doing? Maybe, maybe they used him yesterday. He wasn't available. To, I don't, I don't know what the situation was. But I leave it to the Blue Jays to save my day. All right. Other final scores today: Indians edge out the Twins five four, and of course the Nationals beat the. Uh, Braves in DC six to three, and here is our first box, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, vet base doesn't ship. Inserts like this will ship. Stuff like this, of course, will ship. And if there's any refractor versions of uh, the base cards, veteran base, those will ship as well, including other short prints and photo variations and whatnot. That was unexpected. Rookie autograph, Mike Soroka. It was too late. I already, I already revealed it. Speaking of the Braves, there is that goes to Andrew Harvey. What happened to our TV? Local, local personal injury commercial, lawyer commercial. Come on, screwing up the te television. All right, there's Soroka right there for the Braves. Andrew with that one. Obviously, stuff like this will ship. So like that refractor Cespedes will ship. This one will not ship. Stuff like that will ship. Scope had a nice day. That's Orioles edition of Jonathan Scope. Obviously, rookie cards will ship. Otani will ship. Manny Machado will ship. It's a nice Manny Machado card. I think that gives everybody an idea. And that Brandon Woodruff, of course, will ship. Uh, Rich with the Brewers on the board. Nice Otani. Prism. 
And that Francisco Lindor is orange, 14 out of 25, and a nice jaspy orange right there for Adam Kupperman and the Tribe. Nice. These lower numbered ones out of 25 and under will certainly uh, top load right away. We'll get this sleeved up too. That's a nice Otani parallel. These aren't numbered, but for guys like Otani, these will these will resell pretty well on a secondary market. I'll go to Adam Kupperman as well with the on hells. Reese Hoskins, Clint Frazier. And Evan Longoria. All right, that was box one. Nice start so far. Let's keep it going. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can start the break now. Bo Baller is back, folks. We, I know we were all waiting with, with bated breath. Uh, other scores. What's happening today? In the middle of the fifth inning in New York... Yankees are leading the Rangers 5-3. The Yankees scored three in the bottom of the fourth. Then the Rangers took two back in the top of the fifth. In the top of the fifth, once again, the Blue Jays leading the Red Sox in Toronto 4-2. In the bottom of the fifth, in Tampa Bay, the Orioles are uh, have a one-run edge over the Rays 3-2. In the top of the first, in Houston, the Mariners jumping out to an early 3 nothing lead in the top of the first. And then we've got two games here at night. We've got the Dodgers-Rockies. Dodgers in Colorado. And Pittsburgh is in San Francisco. Thursday. I think today's a travel day for most teams, so not a lot of games. And we've got a lot of preseason football happening here. This is sort of a longer break, so if you want to Kind of get into a little football talk, too. I don't mind that in in a long break like this. Andrew K. looking for a one-of-one of one Delmonico. When's the last time we got a train whistle out of these Topps Chrome baseball breaks? I think we had... Didn't we have a Walker Bueller out of five? That might have been from a jumbo break. I think that might have been our last train whistle. Timmy said, Timmy saying, let's go Giants. Are you Giant Giants fan, Tim? Rough season for the Giants. A lot of injuries. I think everything just didn't really quite kind of come together. I think Johnny Cueto is down with Tommy John surgery, and he was having a really nice season. They made moves, though, in the offseason. They made moves. They wanted to win. It just didn't work out. All right, there's Nikki Delmonico. See you, Jackie. We've got Goldie Refractor, Franklin Barreto, Paul DeYoung. It's so hot, it's raining outside. Is it raining? Yeah. What? Rain in California? It's not, it's not real. It doesn't rain in the summer here. <laughs> there's Alex Bregman, green to 99. There's Aaron Judge and Otani. Glaber Torres. And Alex Mejia. Almost missed that one. Alex Mejia for the Cardinals. Who has the Redbirds in this break? Cody Curtis with that one. No, not as rough as last year for the Giants, Isaac. That's true. But yeah, Cueto going out, big hit. Bumgarner needs to get back to his former self. He's shown, he's shown moments. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the Giants are kind of in a a weird point, right? Like, what, where, where do you go from here? There's Jackson Stevens, another red team. Rick T with the Reds. I thought they might. They might. I thought they would move Kutch. By the trading deadline, that's a out of four ninety nine. Maybe they still will waiver deadline. All right, next box. I don't 
think I don't think you could yeah, I don't think you could trade Bumgarner, although you could probably get a lot of good pieces from him. Can't really trade him. Yeah, farm system is needs to get stronger for sure. Well, they got that I feel like we saw him in a Bowman product or something like that. I feel like there was this they, the Giants had this one prospect that they had. That's supposed to be really nice. I'm bl I'm blanking on his name. If someone says his name, I'll probably remember. But he was the guy that people thought, oh, if they get Kutch, they might have to move that guy. No, it wasn't Ryder Jones. Where's where's my list here? I think I have a Bowman baseball list, don't I? My Bowman baseball guy that I made for everybody. Oh, Helio Ramos. He's still around, right? Yeah, Isaac. That, yeah, Helio Ramos. That's who I'm thinking of. Where's Harper going to go in 2019? Amber Nationals fan says anywhere but the Nationals. Not happy with Bryce Harper? There he is. He heard you, Amber. He's like, Amber, don't you, like, don't you, don't you want me on the Nationals? Long term? For $400 million in 10 years? I don't know where he's going to go. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, kind of a down season for Bryce Harper, right? I wouldn't be surprised if he just takes a one-year deal. Stays with the Nationals for one year. And then tries again. Free agency. If he has a good season, then he can, he can ball out in free agency. In all seriousness, seriousness, though, Amber's saying probably L.A. or D.C. He might go to, I don't know. I think the Dodgers are more interested in holding on to Manny Machado than they are to Bryce Harper. We'll see. All right, good luck, folks. Here we go, next one. Oh. Our first autograph out of this box is going to be Greg Allen. Nice. We got some shimmer action here, too. Eight out of 50. Nice gold. Adam Kupperman with the tribe, the Indians. Oh, Timmy, you're Connor. I see. You have the Dodgers. Eight out of 50. Ah, so you think he'd take a cut to go to L.A. because he wants to be closer to, to Vegas, hometown. There he again. I'd, I'd be okay with that. There's Greg Bird to 299. That goes to the Yankees. And there's Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins for Daniel Patera. The taxes are high in California. That, that really hasn't stopped a lot of free agents signing in California, though. Or maybe it won't take as big of a cut, a pay cut, though. There's John Lester, gold, 9 out of 50. And next box coming up. All right, good luck, everybody. Next box. Matt Hanel saying all the nicknames for the jerseys on Players Weekend were released today. 
what what are some of the highlights, Matt Hanel? Any good ones? Sure, there's always some good ones. My player's weekend stuff, always fun. Wait, does Brad Boxberger just has emojis on his back? That's good. He has a, a gift box and a hamburger emoji. That's pretty strong. I hope that ends up in a... That's got to end up in a product, right? How awesome would that be? If you got, if you got a Brad Boxberger emoji patch out of, uh, of like flawless baseball or definitive collection, something like that. warm in the studio here turn on the fan all right just emojis on the back I like it all right there's Kirsch leading things off nice Michael Conforto and there's Roddy Reed Anderson with the Nats Ooh, redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? TJ thinking a chance Cisco. That's a good guess. We got Matt Chapman at a 299. Amber thinking Devers or Walker Bueller, perhaps. All right, well, behind Scott Kingery is going to be. Rookie autograph of C. That could be Chance. H. Chris? No? It's Chance Cisco. There it is. Chance Cisco. Nailed it, TJ. And that goes to TJ and his Orioles. All right, next box. All right, we have the Red Sox tying it up. It's 4-4 now in Toronto. 
Mariner is still leading 3-0. Orioles still ahead 3-2 over the Rays. And Yankees still with a 6-3 lead. You're welcome, TJ. Good guess. Some sorcery. Got a lot of football going on too, ladies and gentlemen. Any good, uh, any good football, football notes that everyone's been watching? I don't know. It's kind of hard. I kind of hate preseason, preseason football. How, how do, how's Mahomes look, Gabe? Oh, about to have his first series of the so the Mahomes era has about to begin. All right, this box about to begin. Let's see what we got here. We got Troy Scribner for Adam and the Angels. I'm looking for a different Angels pitcher. Does Troy Scribner get a get a player's jersey? I don't think he does, or maybe he does. I don't know. Shohei Otani is Showtime. That's his that's his player's weekend nickname. Oh, another redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? That could be the Devers that Alan's looking for. Maybe another chance Cisco for TJ. Could be this guy. Nicholas Leslie and TJ opting for Cisco again. Matt Hannell saying Shane Bieber, not Justin Bieber. Shane Bieber, pitcher for the White Sox. There's Richard Urena. Is that a bo that's a bonus autograph? This is an above average box. One, two, and three. Nice. Blue Jays Rangers combo Stavros on the board. All right, so behind Refractor Chris Bryant is a rookie debut medallion card autograph parallel. Nice. Where's the name? Oh, there it is. A? Show he doesn't start with A. a Aaron? Aaron Judge. Wow. So he has you have the rookie debut that's the case hit with the medallion and his autograph. And the Yankees, who's got the Yankees? Patrick K with the Bronx Bombers. Wow. It's a very yeah, that is a very nice hit. Oh, Shane Bieber. Oh, it's from Cleveland. Um, that's his. That's his nickname. Not Justin. Gotcha. Nice hit. All right, next one. Patrick K. If you end up redeeming that, um, I would love it if you would uh, send a picture of that hit. I'd like to see. I'd like to see that live once you get it in your in your hands.
All right. Last box of this first half, and then the second half. Hunter Pence's uh, nickname is going to be Underpants? What is, what's that all about? What about Axe Murder? With his wild eyes and the way he wields that bat in the in the batter's box, swinging it like a swinging it like a like an axe. Should be axe murder. If 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 someone gra if 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 there's anyone listening who's in the FBI, um. I'd like you to to run a report on on un, unsolved axe murders in the United States, and then correlate that with whether the Giants were in town that week. All signs point to Hunter Pence axe murder. You could see it in his eyes. Pico de Gallo for Joey Gallo is pretty good, by the way. I like that one. All right, here we go. Two more autographs to go. There's Red Turn 2. There it is, at Red Turn 2. 112 out of 299 for the Dodgers. That'll go to Connor. And there's Curie Maya for the Red Legs. That'll be for Rick T. I think the Dodgers Rockies game just started as well. We got Jacob Faria, 69 out of 75. That is for the Rays. Adam Kupperman with the Rays. And there's Parker Bridwell, another Angels pitcher that Adam is not terribly interested in. Troy script, sorry Troy, and Parker, it's just not your year this year. There you go, Syndergaard in the back there. All right. Halfway through the break. All right, so I got the list of players' names I'm going to drop into the players' nicknames I'm going to drop into the chat. Everyone take a look at that. Go to your favorite team and let me know which nicknames you like, what, are you, what your favorite ones are for your favorite team. Let's go to my Dodgers. Let's see what the Dodgers have. Dodgers. All right. Oh, John Axford gets Axe Man. Maybe he's an Axe murderer too. Walker Bueller's nickname on the back of his Players Weekend jersey, Ferris. That's a good one. Own it, Walker Bueller. Josh Fields is Fields. Maybe he couldn't think of one. Yasmani Grandal is Yasmanian Devil. I kind of like that.
Hyunjin Ru, starter for the Dodgers, is is a monster. I didn't know that was his nickname. Chase Utley, of course, getting the Silver Fox. Um, who's who's Game Ender? Robert Rohr. Some closer, maybe? Ross Stripling with Chicken Strip. Good. Own it, Ross Stripling. Matt Hannels li likes Yuli's, uh, Yuli Gurriel's La Pina. Favorite for the Astros. Timmy says Derek Holland is last name. My nickname jersey, Mike Tower. Obviously, it would say it would say uh, Big Hit Express on the back of my player's weekend jersey, Breakers weekend jersey. Right. Next box. Good luck. There's Jordan Lutlow for the Pirates. That'll be for Nicholas Leslie and the Buckos. Out of four ninety nine. TJ needs an Austin. TJ saying, show me a haze, please. I, I I like that, TJ. It's like family feud. Show me Austin Hayes. There's Gregory Polanco for Nicholas Leslie to 99. And, ah, future big sexy, perhaps. Reyes Moronta. Justin Weatherall with the Gigantes. Oppo Joe Mojo. All right. <laughs> I thought I almost threw that box. Next box. Wait, so who has... Game Ender is... Game Ender is Ender and Ciarte is Game Ender. I get it. Ender and Ciarte, Game Ender. I get it. Yeah, Moronta's kind of a... He's kind of a big boy. I think he's I think this is a lie. He is not six and one seventy five. I think he's got a little more than that on that frame. Does he have a Um Reyes Moronta is El Tibu. I'm not sure what that is in Espanol. Yeah, Giants, I know there's some Giants fans in here. Tell me what Reyes Moronta really weighs. Baseball reference might 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 have it. Hi, Crystal. Welcome. Isaac's, I don't know, but he does look heavy. LOL. He deals though. Um, he's he's a uh, he deals. We were looking at highlights, and I was just like, because I, I was like, I'm not sure I'm, I'm familiar with this guy. And then he we saw looked up some highlights, and he's a he's a great relief pitcher.
Mike Tower says when he goes out to pitch, the mound goes flat. Okay, baseball reference, I think. I don't know where Topps got their their height weight info. That must be minor league info for Reyes Moronta. Baseballreference.com has Reyes Moronta as 5'11", 241. That makes more sense. Like Dan Patrick Show, for those of you listening to the Dan Patrick Show. All right. We got Greg Allen for Adam. Jose Barrios. John Lester. Eric Fetty. James and Tyon for Nicholas Leslie out of 75. That's nice. Blue and there's Victor Caratini. Mario with the Cubbies. I like that. I, li I like that photo of Adrian Beltre. He looks pensive. There, he's just like deep in thought, like the like a modern day, modern day thinker. Where is that? Where, where is the thinker, folks? Rodin, Rodan, some dude, some sculptor. Where is that actual? St Everyone knows that statue, right? This, this, somewhere. He's thinking. Where is that actual thing? It's got to be somewhere, right? Some museum somewhere? Oh, it's in the Louvre? All right, so it's at the Louvre. I was like, I don't think it's... I thought it was like, yeah, I think I think it is at the Louvre, right? If there's anyone watching from uh, from the Louvre, from the Louvre. Please, uh, please let's please confirm or deny the thinker is in there. Is it? I wonder if it's a. Is it an outdoor? I, I, I have no idea. I've never been there. I want to go. I wonder if it's an outdoor sculpture or an indoor one. Stephen K says, "If it was at my house, it'd be on eBay. What do you think it would go for on eBay? Let's 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 play another episode of What's It Worth? What's the actual worth of the Thinker? I think it's Rodan. Rodan's Thinker on eBay. What did Stephen K start at ninety nine cents? Open auction. Start at ninety nine cents. Seven day auction. <laughs> How much do you think it would go for?" All right, there's Cody Bellinger. And there's Nikki Delmonico. Not the one of one you were looking for, Andrew K, but a Nikki Delmonico rookie autograph nonetheless. Kyle Seeger's nickname jersey usually is Corey's brother. 
Another Otani there. The reserve would have to be $2 million, you'd be content? I think you would go for over 2 Another redemption. Any guesses? There's Lewis Brinson for the Marlins out of 150. That's one for Daniel Patera. Marwin Gonzalez out of 299 for the Strohs. Allen's still looking for that Devers. Is he a redemption in this? Could be another chance Cisco for TJ. All right, behind Ozzy Albius, you are due to receive a rookie autograph blue refractor parallel. I think it's out of 150, somewhere around there. F? Oh, Rafael does not start with F. Oh, that is that Francisco Lindor? Or Chance Cisco? Francisco Mejia. That is still Indians edition of Francisco Mejia. That goes to Adam Kupperman. All right, three boxes to go, six autographs to go. Good luck, everyone. All right, Yankees still leading the Rangers seven three in the middle of the uh, middle of the seventh. Toronto now up seven four in the top of the sixth. The Orioles still maintaining that one run edge over the Rays in the bottom of the seventh. And in the bottom of the second, in Houston, the Mariners opening up a six nothing lead early in the game. Dodgers and Rockies are in the second inning, no score. And then we got one more game tonight. Pirates are at the Giants. Devers is a redemption. Alright, so I'm sure there'll be another redemption. Maybe. Maybe an above average box. Ah, the okay, thank you, Stephen K. I like this. The original marble copy of the Thinker currently resides in the Musée Rodin in Paris, France. The piece was moved to the museum after Rodin's death when his whole estate was given to the French government. All right. Well, there you go. So I guess, I don't know if it'd end up at your house anytime soon, Stephen K. Wait, where was it before? <laughs> it said it would move to the museum before. Was it just chilling at Rodin's house, like in his garden? Yeah, given translates to taken, right? The French government was like, yoink, we'll take that, pop that into a museum, make some money off the tourists. All right, third to last, third to final, three, three boxes left. It was in Rodin's garage. It was like, here's, a, here's an old Peugeot, Here's a couple bicycles. Oh, that old thing? The thinker? Yeah, you can just give it away when I die. <laughs> I'm like, all right, dead. There's Breivik Valera. That goes to the Cardinals. Cody Curtis. I know he's like, wrote it. I never liked that one. All right, Miguel Cabrera, 43 out of 50. It's 
Nightbot, let Crystal know when we when we broadcast. Nightbot. Damn it, Nightbot. Crystal, we broadcast Tuesday through Saturday, 3 p.m. Pacific to 11 p.m. Pacific. Tuesday through Saturday. There's Adrian Sanchez for the Nationals. Anderson with that one. He's got a nice autograph. Out of 499. There's Taiwan Walker. Is Taiwan Walker his nickname? Taiwan Walker, Texas Ranger? No, come on, Taiwan. Well, Taiwan Walker's Ty Weezy. Taiwan Walker, Texas Ranger would be a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah, her gusto. She's probably like 12. Crystal, when do you turn 13? <laughs> oh, nice, Amber. You're going to a... Uh... Going to a little... He's got a nice autograph, Amber. Adrian Sanchez. I think Juan Soto could be... Could be your... Uh, could be your NL Rookie of the Year. Either either him or Albius. Or Cunha. The last couple months will decide... box to go, ladies and gentlemen. Four autographs to go. Yeah, that that's what will probably hold Acuna back, Robert Roar, exactly. He, he didn't he didn't play all, so their little injuries kind of got in the way. So maybe it's down to Juan Soto and um, Ozzy Albius, maybe. There's Alex Wood. There's Miguel Andujar. 10 out of 50 for the Yankees. That'll be for Patrick Kay. We got Paul Blackburn Rovers. 245 out of 250. Speaking of the Blackburn Rovers, ladies and gentlemen, the English Premier League season starts this weekend. Pretty excited about that. I think there's a Friday night game. Manchester United, I think. Starts off the season, then the whole slate of games on Saturdays. A's, David Kiss with the Oakland A's will get that one. 168 out of 299, we got Justin Boer for the Marlins. We'll save one of these freshman Flash Sho Shoei Otanis. How good is Blackburn? I honestly don't... Well, Blackburn Rovers or... Uh, no, I honestly don't know. I think he's made... I want to say he's made a few starts this season here and there, but I'm not sure... I'm not sure how he's been doing, but I know he's he's up. We got Victor Arano for the Phillies. That'll be for Amber with the Phillies. Amber on the board with Last Spot Mojo.
All right, and there's Sal Perez back there. All right, and we'll make sure all these get sleeved and top loaded before they get shipped out. And we're finally in the last box, ladies and gentlemen. I see about four orders coming, and I think TJ was kind of giving us the running count on spots left in encased basketball. I think the last count was 10, I think it was. So let's try to knock that out. That'll be our last break in order to unlock our Dog Days of Summer uh, promo. We're going to see who gets a case of Elements Football, which will be pretty amazing. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. I think all, all the baseball scores are the same, except the Dodgers added a run in the top of the second, leading the Rockies 1-0. Dodgers need to get that offense on track, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they got that's why they got Machado. That's why I got I got Brian Dozier. Their pitching has been doing pretty well, but they're gonna take first and start putting some distance between themselves and the rest of the division. That hitting has to come around. We were looking up some stats last night with Joe P between his Diamondbacks and my Dodgers. I think the last couple weeks or so, two, three weeks, both the both the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers have been featuring like maybe top 10, top 5, top 10 pitching, at least according to XFIP, which is a pretty good, a relatively good indicator of, of performance. And um, But now while the Diamondbacks' offense in the past few weeks have been, I think, Top ten-ish, according to um, according to weighted on base average. The Dodgers were like not in the top ten <laughs> overall in baseball. And that, that's where the that's where the struggles have been. Every, everyone in LA seems to think, oh, it's bullpen. We need more bullpen and pitching, and it's really it's been okay actually. All right, we got gold Victor Caratini, nineteen out of fifty for the Cubs. That's for Mario. There you go, Drift. Right, I think Stripling did come back. I think he's making the start today, right? Came back from the DL. Chicken strip. This is Player's Weekend nickname. There's Matt Olson, 16 out of 99. I like when the parallel matches the color of the team. That goes to David Kist in the A's. There's Reese Hoskins, green, 68 out of 99. For the Phillies, that's one for Amber. And where's our final autograph? There's Herman Marquez, one hundred out of one hundred and fifty blue. And our final autograph is a nice one. Miguel Andujar for the Yankees. Patrick K. Wow, what a break. Got that Aaron Judge auto rookie medallion case hit. And now you get the Miguel Andujar autograph, who could be a contender for the AL Rookie of the Year this year. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice break. That was 12 box. Hobby edition of 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball. Chance at a Dog Days of Summer promo spot. So let's go back to, let's get some fresh dice. Let's go back to the list. Everyone from Stephen K down to Anderson has a shot at the Dog Days of Summer spot. That'll be the, to the uh, name on top in the randomizer. The second name will get... This stuff right here, the Padres, Royals, Tigers, if any. Let's get those names in there. Let's randomize that list. Snake Eyes, two times, nice and easy. One, 
And two. Nicholas Leslie, you are in the promo, the Dog Days of Summer promo. And Amber, with any uh, with the last spot mojo, if there were any Padres, Royals, and Tigers cards to ship, they will go to you. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Congrats to Nicholas. Thanks, everybody. Check out jazzpiecehobbyland.com for more baseball breaks, and we'll break with you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.